Today's going to be a good day because we're out on the new 2024 GS1300. Well, it looks quite small. That seat looks small. Obviously, you can get different sort of seats for it. The rear seat looks a bit... Oh, you wouldn't want to sit on it too much. Oh. No button there. There's no on-off button there. The on-off button is now on there. So press that on. The screen should come into action. Looks pretty much the same as the old screen. And the oh God, no fuel. I've got 36 miles left. Ooh, sounds a bit weird. Right, you still get that um, slight rock. In fact, the rock to the left and the side when you rev it is probably slightly more than the 1250. Put it into first and off we go. Oh, she sounds a little bit different than the other one. Now let's get me bearings before we start talking crap. Here we go then. So I'm on board the brand new 1300 GS and the first 100 yards what can I deduce from it? Not a great deal yet. It's a little bit early, 30 seconds into the ride. This quick shifter seems a lot smoother than mine. Now, if you're not aware, I've been riding off, I own and I've been riding um, a 1250 GS for the last four years. So I think I'm pretty well um, an authority on the 1250 on how it rides. So, if you've got a 1250, or you're looking at a comparison between a 1250 and this brand new 1300 I'm probably a good bet to uh, listen to we will see but now I can feel the, the riding position seems I'm, I'm trying to feel for any differences between this one and mine and I'll probably say it's roughly the same this quick shifter seems a lot smoother considering this is a new bike without any miles on it it's still being run in so about another two nuts it's very precise and very very smooth a lot smoother than the 1250 one so thumbs up for the quick shifter so far this particular model is the basic model so it's the bare bones model it is a trophy one with a trophy looking nice paint scheme but it hasn't got the electronic adjustable suspension. There's no radar cruise control. There's no blind spot detection on the mirrors. Um, there's no electric screen. There's a little button there. Look, I'll say a button. That's down. That's, that's up. As opposed to mine that hasn't got an electric screen. You've got a button on the right hand side. It's quite faffy to fiddle it up and down. I don't think this screen is very good for touring, so if you was going miles, I'll probably replace that screen. I mean, fifth gear, what's gonna happen if I just go like that? Oh, that's a lot sprightlier. I say a lot sprightlier. It seems to be a little bit quicker than mine. Not night and day quicker, but this GS1300 is uh, apparently, was it 10 or 12? 10 horsepower. I'm saying 10, yeah, it is 10. Apparently it's about, it's roughly 10 horsepower more powerful than the 1250. Um, and the bike itself, apparently according to BMW, is 12 kilos lighter than the 1250. So a combination of those two should make quite a difference. You know, I'm going. Oh, nice. I'm in road mode as well. How do you change anything? Uh, or the mode button still where it used to be. Road dynamic. I'll put it in dynamic. It does sound a little bit different. I wouldn't say it sounds better, it just sounds different. I did notice when I pulled it to a stop, then I didn't clank my uh, shins on the engine pots. Because I think looking down, these, these pots look a little bit smaller than mine. They don't stick out quite as much, which is a good thing because they are slightly intrusive when you, especially when you first get on a, if you never rode a boxer before, you get on the blimmin' thing and then you keep whacking your shins everywhere because the stupid engine sticking out the side. Oh yes, baby. I think out of all the boxer engines, um, 
with, with a quick shifter, it doesn't matter whether it's a GS or, a, or an RT or an R or whatever, anything with a boxer engine, the, the quick shifter is a little bit on the notchy side. I don't think it's that bad, um, but yeah, some say it's a bit agricultural in its clunkiness. A bit riding a like big old tractor, isn't it? Well, as this one, it seems a lot smoother than mine. A lot silky smooth. Let's try it down a bit. See, going down the box, you hardly know it's there. Yeah, that's that is nice. Quick shift is very nice. I mean, as far as the looks of this bike, I mean, yeah. It's divided opinion so far. Um, the only thing I can say is looks are very individual. Love, it, love is in the eye of the beholder and all that. I mean, you know, I can look at your wife and think, eh, there's no way I would. I'd feel violated. But whereas she's the love of your life, and I can understand that. As far as what I think of the looks, well, when I first seen it a few weeks ago, and now I'm looking at it again today, I've got to say, as of today, I don't like it quite as much as the 1250 when it comes to the looks department. Brakes seem good. But then again, I can remember when the, um, when I had my Big Bang R one and they brought out the, you know, the latest looking one, I thought, oh, that looks disgusting, mate. The new one looks vile, I'm gonna keep my Big Bang. And then a few years later, I've got the new one, uh, which I think is lovely. So what I'm saying is, looks grow on you. <laughs> it still sounds like a tractor. Yeah, it does, does <laughs> <it>. <laughs> Oh, blimey, that is a... He's a nippy. So I've just off some fuel and uh, oh, straight away. So, oh, is that the new GS? Yeah, it's drawing attention already, bless it. So with the all seeing or dancing model, which let's face it, as I've already outlined, more people are gonna be interested in buying that one. You get the electronic screen, you get the radar cruise control, which will be very strange for me. You get the blind spot indicators on the mirror. You get the fully adjustable uh, revised suspension. Um, what else do you get? heated seat this one this has got heated grips has got heated seat though uh, an array of other things as well no doubt i can't remember oh the center stand as well the center stands motorized so it will assist you putting it on the center stand if you are um too weak to do it yourself me obviously i'm not too weak i'm you know well hard i am uh, the wind protection on this one's not very great going back to this particular model probably due to that tiny screen. I've seen some of the other models with the bigger screen on there and they tend and they've got a revised sort of like plastic thing either side there so I'd imagine that's a lot better. I quite like the uh, the bars which look pretty much the same as mine apart from they've got a GS right in the middle there which is a, a nice little touch and I haven't mentioned this yet have I? As I'm riding along now, if you look down, there's a little compartment here, which on the normal GS 1250, you haven't got that there. You have on the Adventure, but not on the uh, normal one. So you've got a little uh, compartment there to hold. Well, I've got a, well, I'm fine, I've got a 40, iPhone 14 Pro Max, which I'm thinking, <laughs> does that fit in there? And it does, just. So it, my iPhone will fit in there. But it's, it's not a bad little thing, you can put your, well, I'm putting in whatever you want, but for me, you know, if I'm out touring, it's nice to have your, maybe some change in there, you know, spare batteries for this, that and the other, blah de blah. Oh yes, quick shifter is definitely nice. Even though I've mentioned that a million times. Suspension feels fine on this. I'm trying to I'm trying to feel for differences between this and the and the 1250. And as I'm riding along now, I would probably say there's less road noise on this. 
it's still it's a job to hear because it's quite blimmin noisy with this bloody wind but you still get the front end noise it, if you never rode a GS before one of the things you will notice is you get a lot of front end noise which you can't quite pinpoint where it's coming from but it sounds like it sounds to me like you imagine you've got wheel bearings in your front wheel and they've never been greased they're dry and it's kind of like it just sounds a bit metal on metal almost like that or I don't know a train going along the track you know metal on metal again that sort of noise I'm not sure what it is but when I mentioned it before the dealership oh yeah they all do that um, I think the standard tyres from what people have told me the, the tyre the, the Bridgestone I'm assuming this comes on Bridgestone not the, the old one used to um, are quite noisy apparently um, some people on the forums have said oh what if you change the Michelin Road 6s or whatever their flavour of favourite flavour of tyres is then the road noise seems to diminish somewhat um, I can't comment personally on that because I haven't done it they've still got the telelever forks on here like the previous model but they are revised a lot they're trying to make it have more feel um, because again if you never rode one of these the telelever fork system you don't get you don't get a lot you don't really get you, know, you get a little bit but you don't you don't tend to get fork dive like conventional forks which I quite like I, I don't feel like I'm detached from my riding by doing that it's not a track bike at the end of the day um, so yeah if you wang your brakes on really hard then you don't get that real dive at the front which I quite like that but it's a job to see but they're telling me that this will dive a little bit more than the than the old one oh. <coughs> yeah, yeah there's a slight bit of fork dive more so than mine yeah so i suppose they're right in that but again it's just subtle subtle little tweaks here and there nothing major even though this feels a lot sportier, I mean the weight, the weight seems, I know I keep saying it's lighter, but it feels it as well. I mean that, when you turn like that, all right, I'd be foot ready to put down, but I didn't need to put it down. It does feel very agile, very nimble, less cumbersome to move around the mine. I mean, they've repositioned the gearbox on this one, so, Whereas the 1250, you've got the engine and the gearbox behind it. Um, apparently, I mean, don't quote me on this, I'm no mechanic, but or engineer or anything. I'm no anything, to be honest with you. I can't even do these YouTube videos very good. Um, but yeah, but apparently now the, they've got the engine and the gearbox underneath, which makes it even lower centre of gravity. Been on it about, I don't know, 40 minutes maybe. 35, 40 minutes. So what do I think after 35, 40 minutes of riding? Okay, it is obviously a very much first impressions view because I think you'd need to have it for a couple of days and like go on a decent trip somewhere to really sort of make your mind up on what's what with this particular bike. But, you know, the short ride that I've done, I think it's a more capable, um, more plusher, more sporty than the, the 1250 not quite as agricultural as the 1250 let me have the again so I can actually maybe see something I'm gonna go this way but it is still very much a GS I mean going slow like that first to second third four fifth six I mean that's seamless seamless shifting so yeah it's it's sprightlier it's sprightlier in its performance than the 1250. The quick shifter is a lot better than the 1250, a lot less agricultural as I mentioned a million times already. Um, it's a lot more flickable, it sounds a little bit different, it doesn't sound better than the 1250 but it sounds different. It's still got that agricultural GS sort of boxer engine sound to it but just a slightly different sound. I kind of like the exhaust on this this one for a standard can um, 
you know, with all these Euro, God knows what we're up to now. It seems like every year they have to bring out an extra large bloody silencer, uh, muffler, end can. Um, you know, just to satisfy the Euro trash. Uh, but this one's really small and looks, you know, nice, nice little small sporty can as opposed to some ugly monstrosity. The looks of the bike, yeah. I don't like it quite as much, but you know, I've already outlined that. But I do, I do like the way it rides. I can't tell a lot of difference on riding like this, um, you know, as opposed to why well, it's more dynamic in its uh, suspension than the old one, bloody blah. There's more feel on the front end than the old one. When you re you know you look at the stats and you look at other people's videos and so forth, but I can't really tell a lot of difference. It, it may be, uh, I don't know. It may dive slightly more than the old one, but not a great deal. So that's the big race done. I've just got a little bit of dual crashway because I'm heading back to Wollaston now. So they've said I've got to be out for an hour, roughly. I don't mind being ten minutes late, but I don't want to take the mic too much. Yeah, 
whatever, I'm not really fussed mate. And I will grab it gravitate towards these type of bikes and calf racers and old two strikes and blah de blah so I don't know whether they've missed the trick I don't know I'm no marketing expert I'm just saying how I feel and the way I feel at the moment is this bike is leaning towards a sportier GS it's still very much a, it, it, it's a GS the, you know, despite it being slightly sportier than the other one, it's still a GS. It's, it's GS through and through. The way it, the way it rides, obviously the boxer engine, the, the whole characteristics of it is GS. It's just GS in a slightly sportier dynamic package than the last one. Is that good or bad? I don't know. That's all it says. I don't know. Time will tell, no doubt. It is nice though. Let's give it a little whirl. Lappity, lappity. You know what, you can't quite stand up like you did the other one. That's definitely, I noticed that. With mine, I could stand up with my knees sort of like fully locked out. And I'm in more of a sort of natural standing up position. What lane are you going in, mate? Ba 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 ba, that lane, dickhead. <laughs> mm. Do you want to stick in your own lane? Oh, he's on his phone, that's why, look. <laughs> Trying to get off your phone, mate. No wonder you're in my lane, you dickhead. <laughs> Three, two, one, goodbye. <laughs>